G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back again for another fun bridge tournament. We'll jump straight in and I'll show you how to get in. What you want to do is click get started slash practice, come down to exclusive tournaments, click view all tournaments and search for bridge vid or Pete Hollands. You can star it if you like and that way it's easier to find the next time. Taking out the top spot is Nicholas M plus 35 imps. In second spot is Dr. Kev plus 27 and Xmic1 plus 26. Well done to all of them. We'll take a quick look at how everyone else did, and then we'll jump in. So there seems to be sort of eight imps on offer pretty easily. So that looks like a imper board. Um, so reasonable amount on offer. We'll see what we can do. Um, so I think every imp will matter here, but there's it's not so tight that you want to play it like match points, which is a bit weird. Anyway, uh, pass pass to me, third seat now. I'm just going to open this and we'll start with a club. And there we go. One no, they've... Uh, okay, so righty's got spades, lefty's got hearts. And here we go. Um, club lead. Then we came down with 10 points. I've got 11, that's 21. 19 missing. So my partner's got sort of maybe four points at best. Um, right. Five of clubs. Okay. That's kind of good. Ten jack, queen, king. I'm only missing the nine of spades at this stage. And the ace. So my eight of spades is pretty likely to set up. Uh, hearts look like they're four, triple, three. Partner's got one of their points in spades. They could have, like, jack or queen of hearts, or they could have diamond i think i'm just going to battle on with clubs uh there's some merit for shifting to a diamond but i think that's going to cost a trick more often than not so we'll just uh keep going here oh that held all right i might be able to build my partner's fourth club here yeah so my partner's got jack fourth club there there's no way that uh they would duck that second club if they had ace jack fourth so uh, we'll duck a heart here. My partner's got two jacks. I don't think they can have any points in diamonds. Okay, we haven't seen the uh, top spade here. I think my partner could have it. Um, duck that. They might not be so inclined to... So I'm getting end played here. If I went in with the, uh, like, flew with the ace of hearts, um, what would happen is, like, their, their heart winner became a thing anyway. It wasn't that I could lead away from the diamond. This was a weird spot where if I had a chance to unblock my ace of hearts, it could be useful to do. I couldn't quite manage it. Some people def got to play one no trump. They just opened a no trump. Potentially playing Akol. No, they opened a strong no trump in third. Well, that certainly worked, um, but uh, not something I was going to be willing to try. Uh, three, three, six, one. So we'll start with a diamond. And just repeat my diamonds. Uh, I can say we've got a heart stopper. And my partner wants to play in five diamonds. Kind of weird auction that uh, they wanted to do that. Uh, did they do well? Well, five diamonds doesn't look like it's that good of a spot. Uh, if they're led away from the king of hearts, I think three no probably would make as well. Um, I think partner showed their spade stopper and I opted for no trumps. I probably would go three no trumps with their hand. That being said, three no trumps looks like it's got six diamonds, the ace of hearts. Uh, you're a bit far away from another trick there. Um, as it is, I have two heart losers. I'm going to start with the queen just in case they've led away from the king. Yeah, so straight away, I don't have any real chance of making this. Um, I want to trump one of my hearts. I'm off the ace, queen of spades. Maybe I can sneak a club to the king here. No. But now I'm going to induce them to actually cash out. So I won't actually have to guess spades. And uh, they're in there with the heart. And at this stage, I just want to trump. 
and then get rid of I'll take I'll draw trumps first um and then I can get rid of uh my last spade on the uh the king so five diamonds down one maybe lose some imps but I thought my bidding was all right uh three no trumps we actually had to play from our partner's side um because they the king of hearts was there still might not be able to make it yeah we can make four diamonds some people managed uh three no trumps um but uh, only lost one imp there well there's a good hand not much to do here super accept they're looking for slam now i've got uh key card, uh controls in clubs and diamonds and then i've got uh one or four key cards do you have the queen of trumps okay and they got to six spades so one or four key cards and they've got the uh, queen of spades but they don't have any kings so their hand looks like three aces and the king queen of spades that's 17 points um Okay, so my partner has everything else. So my partner looks like they've got Queen of Diamonds and Jack of Hearts, and that's it. Um, yeah, <laughs> we, we might get a diamond. Um, yeah, weird that they started with the Jack of Spades there. Not sure why they chose that in particular. Okay, spades are drawn. They're off to clubs. Okay. That one will be flat, I presume. Yep. Moving on to board number four. And uh, 13 high card points uh, and a fit. So I want to start with two diamonds showing a good raise. And partner's showing more interest, so we'll uh, bid four spades there. Two hearts on my left. Wow. Uh, so West has diamonds and hearts. And like that, that feels like a pretty strong bid. Um, so Righty's got pretty much all the points. We've got two diamond losers. We're missing the Queen of Clubs. Um, I have to find the Queen of Clubs. Maybe I can uh, put that on the hearts. The roughing finesse uh, looks pretty good there. Okay, they've fixed that for us. Queen of Clubs there. All right. Okay, so my Nine of Clubs is an entry. All right. And it looks like East has four spades to the ten, so we'll just uh, finesse on the way back here. And... Do that over to the king of clubs and now we can claim so i'm going to draw the last trump got the nine of clubs and we're all good plus six imps right um some people are going down in this my guess is that not care not caring about the spades adequately no, they went three rounds of diamonds. Okay, the bidding was different. Oh, okay, so they showed their hearts first and then did that. Um, but yeah, uh, the way that I think that this definitely should be played is when you lay down the ace of spades and you see the queen, go, okay, right, so that's a singleton queen. What do we know about the other hand? And take it from there. And you can uh, pick up the spade suit. Uh, finding the queen of clubs could be an issue if you don't shift to that. Uh, in the auction, anytime you've got a good raise in a competitive situation, you want to start by bidding the opponent's suit. Anyway, uh, we are vulnerable against not, and I've got both minors. I don't have any convenient way to bid it. Uh, two clubs is both majors. Two diamonds is uh, one major. I could bid two no trumps. It's something I would consider doing at different vulnerabilities. Vulnerable against not, I'm just going to pass. And they're inviting and stopping in three spades. Okay, a pretty awful hand to lead from. 
I uh, don't like singleton trumps. I don't like much else. Like, you could consider leading a club. Um, I've only got a singleton spade. It looks like spades are triple four one around the table. Uh, I feel like we can make life difficult for them if I just start playing diamonds. If righty's got the king of diamonds, it does give up a trick, but maybe we can get it back by forcing them. If I find my partner with the king of diamonds or west, I think ace of diamonds starts off pretty well. Um, I'm not thrilled about it, but I also don't really want to lead away from like my queen of clubs or my queen of hearts. None of them are particularly appealing. Ace of diamonds is super high risk, but because I think they're running into a bad trump split, I'm going to sort of pretend like it's no trumps and give it a shot. Okay. Okay, yeah, found my partner with the king of diamonds. That worked out really well. I shifted to the jack of hearts. So my partner's got four hearts there. Um, I think they got king 10 doubleton diamond. Uh, one diamond can go here. And I go rough over rough. Okay. Um, I can unblock my queen of hearts at this stage. Or not. Okay, so my partner shifted to the jack of hearts. So I was like, yep, yeah, they've got the uh, top one. I can unblock my queen. No questions asked. Because um, I know my partner had four hearts because East didn't have it. So kind of really shocked about that. But uh, we let them make. Minus one imp. Most people managed to beat it. They didn't unblock it. What did my partner have for shifting to the jack? That, like to me, that's just like really weird shifting to the, the jack there. Um, my diamond lead worked out okay. Heart lead would work out okay. But like partner has really good cards in like jack of hearts, ten of clubs, king of diamonds. All of those make all of those leads uh, quite reasonable. Um, my partner shifting to the jack of hearts just absolutely threw me there. Anyway, uh, we lost a nymph. Uh, we're still plus four, moving on to board number six. Okay, flat 20 count, so I can open two no trump. And show my hearts. Okay, so my partner's got spades and four spades and five plus clubs. My hand's really, like, I've got 20 points, but it's not good for slam. I've got king queen, king jack. These unbid suits. Ace King of Spades and King Jack of Clubs are all good. Uh, Forno might be an offer to play, and it is, so I'll just go ahead and. Right. And six clubs looks like it's on a spade finesse. You're off the Ace of Diamonds. Um, so I think I'm happy being in Forno Trumps. Looks like we've got three heart winners, five club winners is eight. Two spades is 10. I'm going to get a diamond for 11. Um, and I'll be doing better than anyone that stops in five clubs. Um, but anyone in six clubs, if the spade finesse is working or the heart is on side, is probably doing okay. We're definitely going to hop up with the king here later. Um, we've got some good chances for squeezes here. Alright, so I just want to untangle the uh, clubs at this stage. And then I'll just think about my end position that I want to get to. Alright, so uh, the clubs are all good and I can just overtake the 10 if I like. Um, I sort of want to see if the hearts are winners. We play king, queen, a hearts, heart to the ace. We take the ace, king of spades. All right, so I think West has the Queen of Diamonds. Um, let's see what's happening in Hearts. There's the 10. So I might want to finesse the uh, Jack of Hearts. I don't know. Um, so I'll save that last heart. I 
Okay. So what we're doing is um, this north hand's going to have the spade. My south hand's going to have the queen nine of hearts. I'm going to hold the jack of diamonds till last, uh, just so that I can see what's going on. So play a club. Yes. So diamond, diamond discards. There's a heart, so my hearts are all good at this stage. And a heart to me. Hearts were 3-3, three, three, so we're all good. Spade finesse worked, everything was gonna go work there. Probably did okay, some people. Wow, everyone's in slam here. Okay, so if you just bid five clubs, partner raises that to six clubs. Uh, so both of these show minimum hands, but one of them, your partner just pops you into into six. So it's just your partner taking control or not. Um, I wasn't that enthused about my hand for slam. Um, other people were. Um, slam was a decent contract though, so uh, it was fine to get there. But uh, lost six imps. Uh, I thought I'd be comparing to a bunch of people in five clubs, but I guess... If people bid five clubs, they uh, get to uh, play it in six. Uh, no. I was vaguely considering a takeout double or something strange. Yeah, we're defending three hearts. So nice, easy ace, king of clubs lead. Um, Righty's got hearts and diamonds. I could push a spade through now while I've still got control, just in case those clubs set up for a discard. Like if Righty had Dalton Queen, uh, it wouldn't be so great cashing the Ace King. So shifted to a spade. It looks like they had King Doubleton there. Yeah, it looks like they're a five four two two. Partner can maybe over rough them if they add something high. Get that and just leading away from this. Hopefully my partners nope. really nothing there. Made their 10 tricks. Flatboard. All right, uh, lucky last. We're on minus two. Um, I think I've done all right. I lost six imps on my partner not bidding slam, and it's I've, it felt right to try and sign off. Um, most people tried signing off just by bidding five clubs, but overall, I think that was fine. Um, we'll show a, a good raise here. All clubs. Natural. That's good. Is four diamonds encouraging? Four diamonds is a minimum hand. Four hearts is natural. Weird that that's natural. Uh, I feel like this we should be in a game forcing auction, so I find four clubs kind of a peculiar bid. Yeah, well, five diamonds is non-forcing, but a fit in diamonds. The, the, the agreements I have here are pretty special. Um, all right, so West opened the bidding. We got a spade lead. I got a spade, a heart, a couple of clubs, maybe something in diamonds. My heart loser is going to go on the queen of spades, and then it's just playing clubs for only one loser. So we'll toss that away. Okay. Um, I could go ace of hearts, rough of hearts. Like the opponents have a spade fit. I'm worried about playing east for too many club honors. Uh, if let's say a rough a heart, ace of diamonds, diamond over rough. I don't can't do the end play that I wanted to, so I really shouldn't have cashed the ace of hearts there. Um, so a bit more planning would be good.
Diamonds are three one. I want to draw them ending in my hand, so cross back over there. And yeah. Queen of Clubs, beautiful. So we're making five diamonds on the final one. Interesting hand, I think they could have beaten us. We can make three no trumps. People managed to get to three no trumps. So they just bit it. So I really like showing the diamond fit. It doesn't rule out playing in three no trumps until partner jumps to four clubs. Uh, but other than that, you can show your diamond fit and then offer three no trumps along the way. Uh, which is how I try and prefer to do it. But we finished plus two. So looking back on it, we uh, lost an imp on board uh, two, where some people were in three no trumps, uh, where, yeah, uh, I showed my diamonds, I offered no trumps, and partner said, no, nah, let's play five diamonds. Maybe I could have bid three no trumps, but two no trumps seemed appropriate in a game force. Didn't really occur to me to jump. Uh, board five. This is where I unblocked my uh, queen of hearts, but surprised that my partner didn't have the ten of hearts sit there. And then board six. This one, I think signing off is appropriate. One of them got partner to bid slam. Uh, the other one got partner not to, so I lost six imps there. Uh, so overall, not two fades about how I played, but uh, only plus two imps today. But uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's Funbridge tournament and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.